Families of Central American migrants are unifying efforts to search uh, for their disappeared relatives that took the long and dangerous journey in search of the supposed American dream. Our correspondent in Honduras explains us uh, why there are no support systems or any official data to assist their efforts. Thousands of Central Americans lost contact with their families when they were trying to illegally enter the United States and now several organizations from different countries in the region are trying to coordinate their actions and organize caravans to look for their relatives, some lost for more than a decade. They are also putting pressure on government to take more concrete actions in support of migrants. In the caravans that we have made, we have found Hondurans and Salvadorians. A Honduran was found in a jail in the north of Mexico City. He had been 17 years without communication with his family. He had been tortured, accused and condemned for 50 years of jail. There was also a Salvadorian in the same conditions in the jail of Tapachula. It had been 12 years since he communicated with his family. Up until now, we have only been able to enter six prisons and found three men and women in the south of Mexico and two in the capital. But how many jails does Mexico have? Alberto's brother disappeared in 2001 and since then he has been looking for him. Currently, six organizations are starting to work together to find the thousands of disappeared. The groups do not know the exact number of people missing and many are feared dead. There is no official data, but according to the migrant families, it could be thousands. For example, we are presenting from El Progreso Yoro 15 cases to the country's foreign minister. We have all the documentation, but the authorities have given us no answer. But we estimate thousands of people have, are disappeared. The Central American region lacks any reliable information on migration, and the migrants lack support as they search for their loved ones. Gerardo Torres, Telesur. Central America.